Hello, my name is Larry Guessman. I'm a physician and electrical engineer, now retired, but I'm trying to help other engineers design a simple ventilator for the COVID emergency. The MIT design compresses a ambu bag with mechanical hands. This is an elegant design, but the mechanical mechanism is a bit complicated perhaps to manufacture. So this video is going to discuss alternate designs using a linear actuator. Here is a picture of the MIT design showing its mechanical hands. So to build my first prototype, I took apart a furniture leg lifter, which was using a linear actuator, and designed this simple ventilator system shown in the video here. But the problem with this was that by compressing from one side, I wasn't evenly compressing the AMBU bag. I posted this problem on the MIT chat site, and one of you responded by sending me this optimal compression computer simula simulation. This led to the first improvement of design, which allowed the AMBU bag to tether freely and be compressed by 3-inch PVC piping. If AMBU bags become scarce, a bellows can also be used using this design. The advantage of using an actuator is it is an available part that can just be bought, hopefully in high quantities, and then the ventilator can be easily built around it. Because many of you may try this design, I designed an Arduino control circuit that would be universal for any linear actuator. I used external switches to replace the internal limit switches in the actuator, which can be seen under the tips of the red clamps in this video. When the actuator hits the limit switches, it reverses direction by providing either plus or minus 15 volts to the actuator motor via a double pull double throw relay on the Arduino board. The switch on the left should be fixed. The switch on the right, which determines the end of the compression stroke, could be mounted on some sort of screw down slide mechanism relative to the actuator, which would then, by resetting it, control the volume per breath. The respiratory rate is controlled by a potentiometer on the board. The advantage of this actuator is that it uses a brushless motor which is rated for continuous use. Most activators use brushed motors with 20% or less than 50% duty cycle and can burn out under continuous use. The disadvantage is that it is a bit too slow at two inches per second, so another actuator should be found. If ultimately you can't find a linear actuator that meets the appropriate specifications, you can always build one using a brushless motor and a lead screw design. There are many manufacturers of this including McMaster Carr in the United States. Finally, in lieu of having a flow meter, you can simulate a lung by taping a flexible rubber glove to the end of the ventilator hose. I'm going to try to post more videos to help engineers build ventilators on YouTube I will post a link to the Arduino code so you can get started quickly if you want to use this method. Thank you. Good luck and Godspeed in your building a ventilator for your country. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at larryguessman at gmail.com, L-A-R-R-Y-G-E-S-S-M-A-N. Thanks again.